Episode 42, Sister Fox is Sick Gilly, Gulu, and Sister Fox have planned to fly kites together today. But they waited a long time and didn't see her. The sun has risen high in the sky. Why hasn't Sister Fox come yet? What? She promised to teach us how to fly kites, but she's late. Shall we go find her? Gilly and Gulu arrive at Sister Fox's house. Sister Fox, Sister Fox, fly the kite with us. <coughs> Sister Fox, are you sick? I can't teach you kite flying today. Go play by yourselves. Alright, then we'll leave. Sister Fox takes care of us whenever we are sick. Now she's sick and must feel terrible. I want to stay and take care of her. Yes, I'll stay as well. I'm great at taking care of people. <laughs> so, Gilly and Gula stay to care for the unwell Sister Fox. Patients need lots of rest. <laughs> <laughs> Will Sister Fox fall asleep? <laughs> you guys. Are you hot? Do you need a nice compress? You must be thirsty. I'll get you some water. <laughs> so heavy, so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Gilly's fault. It's okay, I'm not thirsty. And I don't need an ice compress. What do you need? I'm great at making a porridge full of love. So, so am I. Julie, you're so cunning. I'm not even ready. <laughs> Plain. It looks so unappetizing. <laughs> add some Dita beans. I'll add donuts, sweet and fragrant. Sister Fox will surely love it. <laughs> then I'll add a Dita fruit. And more fruits. They are very helpful in treating a cold. I'll add some, too. <laughs> Eating more vegetables is more helpful in treating a cold. Okay, let's just wait now. After a moment, Gilly and Gula's heartwarming porridge is ready. Drink our heartwarming porridge, and your cold will be gone in no time. Drink, Drink it. it. How is it? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It doesn't taste bad. It's just too hot. It's incredibly awful. Seems we're not good at taking care of others. No, no, no. You're very considerate. I feel much better with you guys here. Really? I'd feel great if I could just get a good sleep. I'll sing you a lullaby. I'll tell you a bedtime story. I want to hear a bedtime story. And then a lullaby. No, no problem. problem. I'll tell a story about a crocodile and magical bubbles. Once upon a time, there was a timid crocodile. 
Before Golu finishes his story, Sister Fox has fallen asleep. Hopefully, after a good sleep, Sister Fox's cold will be gone. In fact, we're pretty good at caring for the sick. 